day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the University of the Western Cape, and in particular, the Department of Accounting. My name is Jade Jansen, and I'm an Associate Professor in the Department, where I head up the Financial Accounting subject area and teach at both the undergrad as well as postgrad levels. I have been involved with the training of accounting, both within and outside of the University, at all levels. I'll be telling you a little bit more about our department today. The Department of Accounting primarily offers two undergraduate degree programs, being the BCom Accounting Program and the BCom Financial Accounting Program. The BCom Accounting Program is accredited with the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, SICA, where it has a one rating, as well as the South African Institute of Professional Accountants, SIPA. The entry requirements for the BCom Accounting Program are as follows. For the three-year program, English first language at level four, an additional language at level three. If you have the combination of pure maths and accounting, then pure maths at level four and accounting at level five. If you do not have the combination of pure maths and accounting, then pure maths at level five. For the four-year program, English first language at the level three, an additional language at the level three, if you have the combination of pure maths and accounting, then maths at the level 3 and accounting at the level 4. If you do not have the combination of pure maths and accounting, then pure maths at the level 4. SICA is the institute that registers chartered accountants. It is a non-profit organization and regulates chartered accountants in the accounting profession. Chartered accountants are often highly sought after and remain business leaders in the global financial market. If you are thinking of becoming a Chartered Accountant or CA, it would be wise to know the characteristics of a Chartered Accountant. So Chartered Accountants have a positive attitude, are good with numbers, are diligent workers and have the ability to take charge and be a leader. Once you qualify as a Chartered Accountant, you could work in commerce and industry for government or in public sector, in academia and educational institutions, in business or in public practice. Once you have completed your undergraduate qualifications on your journey to becoming a Chartered Accountant, you would then need to complete the Postgraduate Diploma in Accounting. So the UWC Postgraduate Diploma in Accounting is accredited with SICA. It is a one-year full-time program and once completed, it allows entrance to SICA's initial test of competence, the ITC. So we often refer to this exam as the first board exam. Our students often perform well in the SICA ITC. The journey to becoming a chartered accountant is as follows. If you've met the entry requirements, you start your BCom Accounting degree. Once you complete the BCom Accounting degree, you then complete the Postgraduate Diploma in Accounting. Once you've completed the Postgraduate Diploma in Accounting, you've completed the necessary academic studies at the university level. You then enter three years of traineeship. The traineeship will be the practical component which complements the academic component in your journey to becoming a Chartered Accountant. Once you have completed the three-year traineeship, you are signed off as being competent from a practical perspective and you would only need to complete your academic components, which you often do parallel to your traineeship. So you're, you attempt the Psyche ITC often in year one of your traineeship and the Psyche APC, we often refer to that as the second board exam, in your second year of traineeship. So you will see that you've completed the academic component as well as the practical component, oftentimes by the end of your traineeship, at which point you would then be eligible to register as a chartered accountant. The Ecom Financial Accounting degree is accredited with the South African Institute of Professional Accountants, SIPA. So it allows learners to enter various tiers of the accounting profession. 
The key focus areas are the subject areas financial accounting, taxation, internal auditing, management accounting, and financial management. The entry requirement for the BCom financial accounting would be English first language level 4, an additional language at level 3, and pure maths at level 4. Cyper complies with the highest national and global standards. Once you qualify as a member of SIPA and you have registered with the institution, you can call yourself an, a, prof a professional accountant SA. So once you've registered as a professional accountant SA, you can work in practice, you can work in commerce and industry, academia and the public sector. So you'll notice bullet two, when we spoke about practice, we were referring to the fact that you could either work in a practice or open up your own private accounting practice where you do a couple of different functions for different clients. As a professional accountant, you often complete the following functions, among others. Preparing financial reports, tax services, assisting in identifying and managing risks, advising on suitable business structures, acting as an accounting officer and acting as a commissioner of oaths. The journey to become a professional accountant starts with a BCom financial accounting degree. Once you've completed the BCom financial accounting degree, you typically do three years of traineeship. The traineeship is designed to develop your practical skills which complement your academic knowledge and skills developed. During your third year of traineeship, you often attend the CIPA PPE, which we commonly refer to as the CIPA board exam. Once you have completed both the academic, including the CIPA PPE, as well as the practical traineeship successfully, you are eligible to register as a professional accountant SA. Articulating between the BCom Financial Accounting and BCom Accounting degree. The BCom Accounting degree is the degree that allows you ultimately to register as a CASA. Remember with the BCom Accounting degree you can also register as a professional accountant on condition that you've met the additional requirements. The BCom Financial Accounting degree allows you to register as a professional accountant if you meet all of the requirements in addition to completing the degree. If you complete your first year of the BCom Financial Accounting degree and pass all of your modules with a mark higher than 60%, you are allowed to attend the summer school, which will, once successfully completed, allow you to transition into the BCom Accounting degree and continue with your second year in the BCom Accounting degree. If you have completed the BCom Financial Accounting degree successfully and achieved a mark greater than 65%, you can attempt the Advanced Diploma in Accounting, after which, if you've completed that successfully, you can attempt the Postgraduate Diploma in Accounting and transition, as shown earlier, to becoming a CASA. This display shows the paths to becoming a Chartered Accountant and a Professional Accountant. If you have further questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact the department. You can also find us on social media on Twitter as well as Facebook. Thank you.